Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Matt Jarbo, and this is Three Buck Theater. And you know, Thanksgiving 2013 is a time I will never forget. I was uh, working back at uh, my drive-in theater, and uh, you know, we were we were getting in a new movie. It was a new Disney animated movie called Frozen. Trailers looked all right. Trailers looked like a lot of fun. Thought it could be a good movie to watch. Then we got it. Then I watched it. And I realized how much of a soulless piece of crap it was. And much to my dismay, we had that movie playing twice a night until it was released on home video in March. So if I ever have to hear Let It Go one more time, self-immolation feels like a better option. I'm just not a fan of that movie for a multitude of reasons. I'm not a fan of that movie. The story is crap. The characters are just bad. The motivations and themes and messages the film is trying to convey it just are all over the place, right? It's it's kind of like Ratatouille in that regard, where, where they don't know what kind of message they want to send, so they just throw everything at the wall in hopes of it being something smart and something effective, and it's just failed on every, on every fucking level. And for those of you out there that are like, but Matt, Frozen was a good movie. No. No, it wasn't. And I like everything. And I hated Frozen. And I tried watching it, too. I, I legitimately have tried to watch it and enjoy it. And I just can never do it. For one, the trolls make no sense. They make no sense. They Their introduction uh, to later on, you know, like Hans ends up freaking living with them. And there's no ever ex and ex any explanation of that. Um, the fact that Anna is, you know, I mean, I understand the idea behind Anna and, um, the prince or whatever. And like, she's been so sheltered and so lonely that the first person shows her attention, she's going to fucking fall in love with. Right. But as soon as Elsa goes crazy and like leaves and Anna's in charge and like, I'm the only one that can stop her. You new dude who I just met, you're now in charge. And then every other scene we see with the prince is him like being protective and him, you know, trying to like look after people, making sure they have blankets and food and he's not being bad or evil or sinister at all. And then all of a sudden, just at the turn of a fucking hat, he's just like, oh, hey, what's up, bitch? Yeah, I'm the bad guy now. No one's ever going to fucking love you. Oh, and the Duke of Wesselton is in and on well. You know, it's like the, the plot was so fucking horrible in that movie. The animation was wonderful. Everything with Olaf was shown in the trailers. Everything with Olaf was shown in the trailers. Right. But I will say just because look, I will say this. Um, Frozen Fever, the short film in front of Cinderella from 2015. Love the fuck out of that. So go figure that cracked me up. That was actually something I enjoyed. Hated the fucking movie. That being said. Uh, in an interview with Entertainment Weekly, Frozen's producers Peter Del Vecchio uh, revealed uh, an alternate timeline, an alternate plot of the film that I think actually would have worked a lot better. I, I feel it would have um, it would have worked a lot better overall, where essentially Elsa was the villain. Right. And she had basically proclaimed herself the Snow Queen and she was purely evil. And what it was is Anna and her were not sisters. And Anna was an innocent female heroine and who was going to try to stop Elsa. Uh, and as a result, Elsa was going to, like, bring in this huge army of snow monsters. Um, and and then there was going to be a huge battle with that. And then, of course, um, Prince Hans, who, you know, wasn't just a bumbling, you know, ice cutter. Uh, he ends up, like, triggering a deadly avalanche. That would stop the battle, stop Elsa in her tracks, but it would also would destroy the kingdom of Arendelle. And that's kind of when there's that turn of that that turn of heart or change of heart when Anna then has to end up convincing Elsa to stop the avalanche, where then they realize that, oh, Prince Hans is the true villain of the story. Again, that that part doesn't make a lot of sense. It's kind of like same kind of concept as what happens um with with the prince, too. It's like, oh, he's you know, he's now the bad guy all of a sudden. It's that, it's that, it, and that's probably the, the, the primary issue with the movie is the fact that there is, there's just that, that instant turn. There's not a build up. There's no lead in this description and what happened in the movie are pretty much exactly the same. It's like the, oh, I'm just going to do this one thing right now. And then that makes me the bad guy. It's, it's an interesting concept, but it was so poorly executed. And the reason why that, that first concept wasn't used is because they said that the team wasn't satisfied with the conclusion, feeling that it wasn't original enough. And there was an issue with the way Elsa was depicted throughout the film. She's an evil snow queen. 
I mean, granted, look, I, I understand her motivations in the movie, right? I get it. She She's, you know, shamed of herself. She goes and locks herself away, blah, blah, blah. I get it. But then it says, we had no emotional connection to Elsa. We didn't care about her because we had spent the whole movie being the villain. And this is coming from Vecho. And I, I, I guess I get that. But at the same time, how much do we get to spend with Elsa in the movie? You don't. You don't get any time with Elsa in the movie. The movie starts off, her and Anna are playing, hee hee hee, having fun. And then Elsa fucking shoots, you know, some ice, hits Anna in the head to take her to the trolls. Um, Elsa then locks herself away. Then the parents die. And then Elsa continues to lock herself away for years and years and years and years and years. Then all of a sudden gets out uh, on Coronation Day, causes a fucking huge snowstorm, and then fucks off to the woods, right? Builds her ice palace, sings a song. And then we don't really see her. We don't really see her again. You know, you just don't. Not for a while. It, there's no real connection. The connection there is between Anna and and the other dudes. Well, the reindeer and the uh, the other guy whose name I can't remember right now. Um, Kristoff? Is that his name? Kristoff? Uh, again, it's it's like there, the connection wasn't there with Elsa. You had no emotional connection to the character because you never spent any time with the character to develop it. And we got one song that was hugely fucking popular, but apparently that was enough. Um, and so they said here that to avoid having the typical love's true kiss, so solve all the problems, the directors came up with the idea of Aunt Elsa saving Anna from certain death instead, which that was, you know, that worked out all right. Like that part I kind of liked, you know, the, the, the sibling sacrifice and the sibling help I thought was cool. It was, it was, it was definitely not the trope of, you know, true love sort of thing, which I thought was, I thought that was that part was good. But otherwise, the the what they would have talked about here, I feel is a much more interesting concept, right? You you have a an in you know an evil queen. You could have easily set it up as a political thing or an ideological thing. Um, you know, maybe a misunderstanding, something that, you know, maybe like the Hatfield McCoy situation going on, where, you know, it's like a battle over turf or whatever, but then it's just kind of coming together in the end. That didn't happen in Hatfield and McCoy's, but I mean it's like the general premise of it with a Disney ending. Unfortunately, Frozen still exists, and it's still loved by millions of people, and I know I'm in the minority here for disliking the movie as much as I did, but trust me, none of you people had to live with that thing twice a night for four months. When It's just, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just, it's a sore spot for me, but I did find this particular reveal of information to be interesting, and I wanted to share my opinion on it, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Is this the kind of, would you have preferred to see a story like this or would you, did you prefer what we saw? Uh, I, I just, I'm very curious to know. So uh, my name is uh, Matt Charbo. This is Three Buck Theater. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check back often for more movie news from me. I will talk to you guys later. Have yourself a fantastic day and peace out.